Hello and welcome. My name is Maria Kliakov, and I'm the founding director of Healthy Morning Revolution. We are dedicated to revolutionizing the way you think about your grief and mourning. And today we are in week six of what I refer to as the sacred six. That's the six weeks of gratitude between Canadian Thanksgiving, which happens in October, and U.S. Thanksgiving, which is coming up next week. And so in this sixth week, I want to really speak about gratitude for those who walk with us and witness our lives. In the movie, Shall We Dance? Susan Sarandon's character is explaining to her private investigator why marriage is important. And what she says is, it's about having a witness to our lives. Now, it's not always our spouse who is the witness to our lives. Sometimes it's a parent that we call every day at the same time to check in. Sometimes it's a child that we're constantly connecting with. Sometimes it's a beloved animal who lives with us and breathes with us and sleeps with us. Sometimes those animals are actually the closest witness to our lives. And when a witness of our life dies, we have this secondary loss of not having a witness anymore, and that is staggering. If that idea is bringing up deep emotions, I invite you to let those emotions flow. Just let them flow right out of your body. I promise you'll feel better after you let the tears go, after you let the anger, the frustration, whatever that idea brings up for you. The whole point of converting grief to mourning is allowing the grief to surface, and then the mourning is expressing it out of your body. And sometimes this is the most staggering thought of all that I've lost the witness to my life. And that's part of why I'm feeling so lost right now. So whether it's due to the loss of a parent, a best friend, a child, a spouse, or a beloved animal, whoever your witness was, we want to honor the depth of the loss. And if you are grieving the loss of a beloved animal, and your community is being less than kind with you or less than understanding, please understand there's a term called disenfranchised grief. And that term refers to a grief that is not recognized by your community and is not supported by your community. So please know the Healthy Morning community is here to be with you, whatever your grief is. And we understand that animal loss is one of the most staggering losses, particularly for those of you who are single. I'm single myself. I live alone. And it is my beloved cat who is my shadow. And, you know, at night when she's following me into the bedroom, I sing the song, Me and My Shadow. Right? And before her, I had my beloved Raja. And when Raja died, that was a devastation like I did not know before. So please know the significance of your animal loss and that that too, that grief needs to be mourned. It is equally important that we offer gratitude not only for those who have been our witnesses and are no longer with us, but also gratitude for those who witness and walk with us through our grief journey. It is vital that our grief journey be witnessed by somebody who can bear witness. And what I mean by can bear witness is in our society, often we find ourselves in groups of people who just can't be with our sadness or they can't be with our anger or whatever is coming up. And the reason they can't be with it is because they haven't dealt with their own. That's a whole nother topic and it's about buried and carried grief. But here's the important thing. For you right here, right now, you need to find the people who can be with you and can walk with you and can be witness to your grief journey. We all need witnesses for our life, never more so than in grief. And when the grief is about the person in our life who would be witnessing our grief journey, that becomes doubly staggering. If you need to reach out, please reach out to us. Go to healthymorning.com. That's healthymorning, M-O-U-R-N-I-N-G.com. There are tons of resources there for you. If you have questions about anything that I've said during this particular video, please put it in the comments section because I use my podcast, Healthy Morning Revolution Radio, to answer the questions that come from the videos, from the questionnaires. 
we have a self-assessment questionnaire where you can simply self-assess to discover where you are on your grief journey and what the next steps of your grief journey might be. And most of all, I want to remind you that at the beginning of December, we're coming up on live launch again. Whenever you're watching this video, live launch is on the horizon because we do the live launch quarterly. But this particular live launch is special because this is the pre-holiday live launch. We're coming off of Thanksgiving. We're deep into the holiday season. And for many of us, we use that holiday to hide from our grief and to avoid our grief. We just decide not to experience the holidays at all. And what I want you to think about, and I want you to um, be encouraged to embrace the idea that the holidays are a sacred time when if we know how to do it, we can actually embrace the holidays and use the holidays as a way to further ourselves in our grief journey and make sure that we move through our grief journey with ease and grace, even through the holidays. Please join us for the live launch. If you want to register, just go to healthymorning.com. Um, the link to it is down below. If you have any questions, as I said before, please feel free to put it in the comment section. I look forward to connecting with you personally, meeting you, and getting to hear your unique story. Until next time, much love to you. Namaste.